Hi, my name is Emily Glink. I am a collage artist here in Jefferson, Ohio. Collage art for me is a really fun process of putting together paper and different mediums, paint, markers, whatever you have um, to create something new out of something else. So when I started collage art about 10 years ago, um, I needed some creative outlet. Um, and I needed it not to be expensive. So I kind of came across collage art and realized that I could use anything I had, um, including my own kids' um, craft supplies and magazines even. So today we're going to do magazine collage art like this one. Um, I use backgrounds and things cut out of magazines, which we'll show you a little bit later. Um, and just use a lot of different elements that pop out at me and go over it with markers and make it my own um, and without spending much money at all. So first we're going to start with watercolor paper. For this particular collage art, I like to use watercolor paper because it's really smooth. Um, doesn't need to be super thick because we're just using magazine papers, but it's just a really smooth flat surface to work on and I just really like it. I'm going to use just this lovely watercolor pad that I dug out of my kids um, craft box. It's not fancy, it doesn't need to be fancy, don't go out and buy something crazy. Um, even though it's dirty, I just kind of work with a color that works for me and just kind of brush it on. I'm looking for something really smooth. It's going to be a background, but that beginning color kind of helps set the tone of the piece I'm working on. Um, it kind of sets the colors. I kind of want this one to be pink. So let's talk a little bit about magazine and clippings. Um, I use all kinds of magazines. Fashion magazines, great for like images of people. Martha Stewart magazines, great like plants and um, just really beautiful images there. Um, decorating magazines can get some really great backgrounds. But there's so much free magazines out there, they just go to the landfill. Don't go buy one. Okay, so now we're moving on to uh, I have my papers, I've cut them out, and let me just show you a little bit what I'm looking for. I pulled out a couple here. Um, I'm looking for color, pattern, and texture. So like this green, if I want a piece of green in my artwork, I want it to have like a pattern or a texture to it, it's not just green. So like I'll just do strips of this and I'll just cut them out in strips. This one's great. I love this background here. I'll just cut right here and have that strip and add it to my strips. I've got this beautiful pink color with this lovely um, stone texture. I love that. I'm also looking for what I call seconds. Um, these are like little images that I'll put along beside my border. So even though this guy is cut off right here, I'll still cut out and I'll use him to stick him on the side. Glue. Glue is important in all collage you can use all kinds of glue. Glue sticks. This is just a washable kids glue stick that I pulled again out of my kids um, craft bin. So we're going to start with that. If you want to step up and use something um, a little different, this is what I would recommend. It's Liquitex Gel Matte Medium. And it needs to be matte because when you put it on it's going to dry a nice matte finish and then you can go on top of that with like crayons pencils. Whereas this um, is still going to have that shiny feel and so you might not be able to use all of your things but you will be able to use like a sharpie. That will that will work on it. So we'll, we'll go over that later. But for this we're just going to use a good old glue stick and I'm not going to put too much thought into this. I'm just going to start pulling out colors that like speak to me I guess. Um, things that kind of match my background and I'm just going to be quick about this. I'm not going to spend too much time thinking about it. That can come later. I'm just going to kind of work these. You're going to have bubbles in collage. You're going to have to make peace with the bubbles. The bubbles will come. Let them come. It's part of the paper process. It gets wet. It bubbles. Try to work them out as you see them. Once they dry, they might be there. Don't let that get you down. Make peace with the bubbles. 
releasing that. It's okay if it overhangs a little bit. Once it all dries, I'm gonna flip it over and just trim off any excess there. Let's see what else I got here. I try not to have too much symmetry because really when I'm done, I don't want anyone to look at it and say, oh, that's from that magazine or, or oh, I see that that's a map. Like I want everything to just kind of blend and mesh together. So I'm not going to have like everything lined up perfectly in the same size. Great, I like how this looks. Got a lot of fun things going on here. So once we get our border done, you can wait till this dries or you can just cut it off. I'm not very patient, so I'm just gonna cut it off. Okay, so now we have our border done. We're gonna do next, I'm gonna do what I call the seconds. Seconds are little things, little interesting things that aren't gonna be the main focus, but they're just gonna add some variety and layers. So on this one, we have um, this little gumball machine. We have this like light coming out here from a home improvement magazine, and I love clocks, I love clocks. So almost all my pictures have some sort of clock. So I'm trying to bring in things with more details at this point to give eyes somewhere to go. And I like to do groupings. So we're going to put this one up here. Like that. We're going to need another one, I think. Can't just have one. That one's kind of neat. Great. Now we'll move on to the next step. All right, I'm finishing up my touches here. I'm adding this little phrase that says, good day. I try to have my artwork be inspiring and encouraging or just make you laugh and giggle. Okay, so we have our outline. Now you can see that our border has been pretty much covered up with stuff. That's what I want and that's fine. Um, now we need our main subject. So when I'm looking for main subjects, I'm looking through fashion magazines, I'm looking through kids' magazines, looking for um, a person. I always like to add a um, animal head to my pictures to make it my own um, and you can get those in magazines and advertisements for like dog food and stuff like that. So I have a stack of my main focus figures here that I've already cut out. I, um, I'm just going to look through them and see what fits. I really like this lady. She's pretty cool. I'm going to go with her. I think she looks really good with the background there. And then I also have a stash of the animal heads, which I will go through. So I will cut them. You're gonna have to cut them to make them work for a person, slimmer neck. Um, try to find one that'll fit with my paper. This one's a little bit not quite right. And usually I can trim away what I think is not right, but I have one that I kind of pulled out that I think is pretty good. You'll notice also that I gave this puppy different eyes. I love to put people eyes back on the dogs. It just makes them kind of cartoonish and funny. Um, and I'll have a whole stack of eyes that I've cut out in a little baggie. Um, I just like that. I just think that's really fun. So I think I'm going to go with this. I will glue this down kind of carefully. It gets a little tricky when you're trying to match up paper. So I'll start here. I'll work my way up. I'll slide the head in and glue that down as well. Um, when you use this, it creates, over this paper, creates a new surface that's good for painting on um, using pastels, um, any other supplies you might have. Because I'm using my glue stick, I still have the shininess here, so I'm gonna be a little bit more limited to what I can use, but that's okay, because my favorite things to use anyways are Sharpies. Um, they're permanent, they last, they'll go over anything. And this is, um, this part of the process is just fun. Just sit down, enjoy it, it's really just doodling. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add things to all the corners and where pieces come together just to create like a seamless um, a picture. And then also I'm going to outline everything. And it might seem weird when you first start off outlining things. Um, it might not be perfect, your lines won't be perfect, but it makes things pop out. So when you want to pop out of your picture, you want to outline it, highlight it, give it a shadow. If you want it to like go back, then um, kind of leave it alone or create some sort of like lines here. Right here, I didn't actually have anything on my paper, so I just kind of made these little 
green lines to just kind of make that blend away. Um, here I put on white spots, I've outlined these things and, and drawn some with my marker. Um, so I'm going to do that now. Alright, so I really love this uh, good day, so I'm just going to come in really quick and highlight. I want that to jump out. And I see that I already have these black lines going on this green, so I'm just going to make some more. I know they're crooked and that's okay. I'm really turning this green into something of my own, something in the background. Good rule of thumb is to make the dark parts darker and the light parts lighter, highlights and shadows. Like that will make things come out and go in um, and give you that kind of depth rather than it just looking flat. So I'll, I'll uh, outline things and then one of my other favorite things is like a white paint pen. And I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna touch up things that are already white and add stuff. So I'm gonna give my macaroon spots. The other really cool thing to do, and I always do it with all of my pieces, is create shadows. And then when I start off, it looks kind of dirty, um, but it, it'll all come together. because I wanna create shadows all around the outside and around my main character to have her separate from my background. And my favorite tool for that is a good old pencil um, and my finger to smudge it. So I'll just color along here, nice soft, Number two pencil, come back in, and just work it. If I need to add some water, I can do that too. Sometimes the glue stick kind of gets in my way here where it's kind of come out. And just keep working at it and keep working at it and make it your own and so fun. And now let me show you an example of one that's past that point. So here's one that I've been working on. Um, I've done all my shadows. You can see them all along here. And over here, I've darkened it quite a bit over on this side. I like that. Um, she's got a little coffee cup that she's standing in. And I haven't figured out what to do for her quote yet. So she's just been kind of hanging out down here. Um, every once in a while I get on Pinterest and I look for quotes um, to write in this spot. Um, but that's my last, well, my second to last uh, step on these is to to find a fun quote. And since I don't normally have a plan when I start, I usually let my character tell me what it wants to say. At the end, when I'm done, I'll look at it and see what she has to tell me. Like this one, she's having a good day, so I'm sure there's something in here about, um, about being positive for the day or something like that. I'll find something. Um, at the end, because we used a glue stick, which was totally fine and fun and quick, it's not going to last. Um, a good way to make it last is um, a acrylic sealer. This will just, you'll spray this on. But what I really like to do often is Mod Podge. Mod Podge is good for so many things and especially for collage, it is very messy. Um, you'll just get a paintbrush and you'll do very, very thin coats, thin as you can, and it's going to bubble. Gotta love those bubbles. Um, so as you're working, as it's drying, be watching for them, smooth out the ones that you can. Um, and once a couple of coats of this, it's very, very durable. Like this one here has a great finish now. It's not going anywhere um, and it's good to go. And that is my collage art. I hope you had fun today. I hope you learned some new skills, but most of all, I hope you realize that you can make art with anything, just things you have laying around. If you have questions or anything, write them in the comments. I would love to see your own artwork. Um, post that in the comments as well. Um, have fun and keep arting.